more of the same for the king. Yes, sir. What news from the gaming table? Very good. Alberto's having a fantastic time. It's about time. Last night, that Greek took him for a whole South American jungle. <laughs> you know something? Off the screen, I don't think I've ever seen you laugh before. I feel very good tonight. Every night's like every other night. No, not tonight. What's different? I don't know. Something in the way my heart beats. As if something very good were going to come out of tonight. Something's coming all right, but it's not good. He's bad. I've seen him like this before. It's half crazy when he gets like this. How do I find the words to tell you what you are? To begin with, a thief. You took money from me when I was playing, when I was winning. You changed my luck. You have cost me millions and millions of francs. You put a curse on me, not only for tonight, but from the unhappy moment when I first knew of your existence, as you will put a curse always on everyone and everything near to you. Maybe you can talk this over later in private, maybe. Let him, Oscar. Next, you are not a woman. I do not know what you are. You are not a woman. You will not let yourself be loved. You cannot love. Once you had the look for me of an exquisite lady. Now I do not see that look. I only see that you have the body of an animal. A dead animal. I have paid for your company, and you will come and go as I tell you. Monsieur, permit me. Is the gigolo known to anyone? He's known to me. His name is Vincenzo Conte Torlato Favrini. He's not a gigolo. He's less a gigolo than anyone in our immediate company. Surely less than anyone you will ever have the good fortune to meet, Signor Bravano. He certainly acts high and mighty for just a count. <laughs> My dear Lulu, they are counts and counts, just as they are kings and kings. Among the counts, Torlada Favrini is a king, just as among the kings, I'm a clown. I'm puzzled only by his presence in a place such as this, among such people as us. My champagne is not properly cooled. <laughs> Alberto, do you happen to know the Marquise de Baudonniere? A really distinguished family. And, the and that was the last I ever saw of Maria Vargas, whom the world knew as Maria de Mata, but who died as the Contessa Torlato Favrini. Sarah, Sarah. What will be, will be. An ancient and unimaginative Italian proverb. It has been the motto of my house for more than 450 years. And it is only fitting, perhaps, that as the house of Torlato Favrini comes to its end, our motto will never be more to the point. What will be, will be. Late that night, in of all places, a gambling casino, when I saw Maria again.
begin with, a thief. You took money from me when I was playing, when I was winning. You changed my luck. You've cost me millions and millions of francs. You put a curse on me, not only for tonight, but from the unhappy moment I first knew of your existence, as you will put a curse always on everyone and everything near to you. Maybe you can talk this over later in private, maybe. Let him, Oscar. Next, you are not a woman. I do not know what you are, but you're not a woman. You will not let yourself be loved, and you cannot love. Once you had the look for me of an exquisite lady. Now I do not see that look. I see only that you have the body of an animal. A dead animal! I have paid for your company, and you will come and go as I tell you. Monsieur, bear with me. I cannot remember much of that shabby little scene, except for some cheap heroics on my part. But I do remember that Maria seemed unsurprised at my being there, that she left with me without question, as if she had been waiting for me. 